Hey, what's up guys? I have some great news to share with you today. The A12 iOS 12.4 jailbreak has arrived and is available for download. And of course, we got you. The download links are in this video's description, so for those advanced users, you can begin to jailbreak immediately. But not to fear, we have an official jailbreak tutorial coming very soon. Anyhow, if you're just as stoked as I am to jailbreak, show that support with a huge thumbs up. And before you go, don't forget to subscribe for future jailbreak and top tweak tutorial videos. Thanks for watching and being awesome fans. We'll be back momentarily with another sweet video, but until next time, this is Tony signing out. So to start off, I'm using Snowboard to theme my icons, and if I go and select theme, the one that I currently have is called Snow White, and it looks something just like that. Now secondly, I know I'm going to get a bunch of questions about this tweak that I have going on in the background. This one is called Fluid Widget, and it's enabled with Zen HTML. Next up, we have 13 HUD, which brings the iOS 13 volume HUD to iOS 12. One of my favorites, we have Animations Be Fast. This is also boulders for folders right there, but pretty much every application, every folder launch opens up and closes very quickly. Next up here at the top, we have Small Surrey. That works on iOS 12.4. We have Notifica to redesign our notifications, give them a more modern look and feel. I have the free alternative to Floating Dock Pro. We have Floaty Dock right here to bring the iPad style dock to the iPhone. We of course have Dune for dark mode. I showed you guys this one in my last video, but we have Shy Labels where the icon labels actually disappear when you're not using them. And another popular one is called Evanesco where your icons and dock fade away after a certain amount of time too. We have Lisa on the lock screen right here to give a nice OLED lock screen double tap to get notifications and everything else. But again, super nice OLED look and then double tap. Another one of my favorites, silent screenshot. So when you take a screenshot, your display just dims a little bit. There's no sound or anything like that. Your preview is hidden. Just makes it a little bit more modern and sleek. Now another one on the lock screen, I actually have Do Not Disturb enabled, but I don't have a notification. I just have this little moon icon right there, and that's achieved with Leave Me Alone. So I showed you guys this one in my last video, but I love it. It's called Gravity, basically on your home screen. Now it takes advantage of your iPhone's accelerometer and your icons can just float freely, something just like that. And again, that one is called Gravity. Well, thank you guys for making it this far in the video. Now, if you're jailbroken, a great way to add a bit of security to your device is with Surfshark. It's a super modern VPN service that has the latest and greatest features, like protecting your data on an unsecured Wi-Fi network, accessing Netflix libraries and YouTube videos from other countries, and the ability to use one subscription plan on an unlimited amount of devices. And with the promo code ICU, you can get this incredible service for just under $2 a month. Since first discovering Surfshark less than a year ago, there's been a ton of updates to it. In this video, I'm happy to demo and show off their latest version 2.0 user interface redesign. Also, we have our hands on the beta of two upcoming features, one called HackLock that notifies you about potential email security breaches. It will notify you when your email was used to register on a platform that suffered a security breach, alerting you that your email may be at risk. Now, the second feature is called Blind Search, which is a lightweight search engine that displays organic ad-free results with no trackers. Anyhow, if any or all of this interests you, check out the link below and don't forget to use the promo code ICU at checkout to get our awesome discount. Without further ado, let's get back to the tweaks. Still a couple of my favorites within the settings app. Here we have Shuffle, which brings our tweaks in its own category right at the very top of the settings app. And then we have better settings to redesign the entire app's user interface, give it a dark mode and customize it a little bit more. Now, as you guys can see on a dark screen like this, I also have the tweak called Edge going on right here, and that's persistent across all applications on the home screen as well as on the lock screen. 
You can customize your messages app with the tweak called Bubbles. It gives you a nice look right there. It kind of matches almost identically to that of better settings, which is why I really like to use them both at the exact same time. One of my new favorites right here is when I pull up the keyboard, we have Dark Keys XII, which basically takes the stock dark keyboard and uses that across all of iOS, replacing the default light one. Anyways, that typical stock keyboard is only found under Spotlight, but as you guys can see, now it can work in other applications just like that. So a couple iPhone 10 related tweaks. I have bar emoji at the very bottom to put my emojis right there. I also have battery percent X to put the battery percentage right up there in the status bar on the iPhone 10. I also have auto unlock X. So when my face is recognized by my phone, it takes me directly to the home screen. And finally, to finish things off, let's talk about my control center. Now I do have one paid tweak called better CCXI going on right here, but I have a couple free tweaks going on too. I have power module to quickly respring and do a couple other commands directly within the control center. I have magma to customize these colors of these toggles of the volume sliders and things like that. Within this platter right here, I have quick CC to actually change Bluetooth devices or Wi-Fi networks. That's an iOS 13 feature that was ported back to iOS 12. And very lastly, I have real CC to permanently disable Wi-Fi and Bluetooth instead of just disabling them for 24 hours. Anyhow, guys, that's pretty much all of the tweaks that I have on my iPhone 10. And again, they're entirely free aside from that one tweak. Anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, definitely show that support. Definitely bookmark our A12 jailbreak status checker if you guys want to be notified the second an A12 jailbreak is released for iOS 12.4. Again, all of the tweaks and sources from this video are located down below in this video's description. Thank you guys so much for watching, but until next time, this is Tony signing out. So let's get directly into things. Starting out here on my iPhone 10, running iOS 12.4. I'll just go ahead and pop up the settings app, go to about and show you guys I am updated to the latest version of iOS and I'm completely jailbroken with Chimera running Celio. Well, let's talk about some Celio tweaks right off the bat. One of my favorite ones that just came out is called Fluid Taps. Now, either at the top or at the bottom, you can literally just swipe to go to the next screen or down here on the bar. As you guys can see, you can just swipe between tabs. And again, this works on both Cydia and Celio, as well as third-party applications, anything with a tab manager. But I think this works really well right within the package manager. So next up, we have Sil Actions. If you guys just tap and hold, you can actually reinstall or uninstall tweaks just like that, add them to the queue. And the really cool part is you can go ahead and click confirm, let it do its thing. And when you're done, when you click done right there, restart Celio, instead of restarting the springboard, it actually takes you back right to your installed packages so you can begin to install more packages. Then of course you can go in and manually respring once you have your entire list all done. And this one's just a minor one, but Celio No Banner removes this annoying, obnoxious red banner right here from unsupported uh, repositories, so it looks just a little bit cleaner. And lastly, we have a quick way to back up all of our installed tweaks as well as our sources with Batch-O-Matic, and you can actually transfer this to other iOS devices as well. Jumping over to Cydia, I haven't forgot about my Uncover fans out there. Of course, we have the typical ones right here, swipe for more to quickly queue up packages. I have tweak count right up at the top, and then I have flame to actually export my sources and tweaks list, just like that. And lastly, a big one here for Cydia is called Tweak Compatible 2. It lets you know if the tweak you're going to install is compatible with your current iOS version. And again, this tweak is entirely community-based, so definitely give feedback on Tweak Compatible if your tweak is not working that you're trying to install. So I'm sure a lot of people are interested in iOS 13. Well, here you can kind of have the best of both worlds. 
We can get the iOS 13 style volume HUD with 13 HUD. We of course have a dark mode with this free tweak called Dune, basically themes the entire iOS, your dock, all of your folders, and gives it a nice dark mode. And then lastly, this one was super awesome that this is finally updated. This one's called Quick CC, which lets you quickly adjust uh, or change which Wi-Fi network or which Bluetooth devices you're connected to, just like an iOS 13, right within the control center.